Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and I sell products online as an entrepreneur. I just resell stuff. Anyways, this is basically a recording of my journey. I'm trying to be all quick. This is my weekend sales. I've got some stuff that has sold out of that Wholesale Ninja lot, which I'm going to show you, and some other stuff that I've gotten from my other sources. Today is December the 6th, and for starters, I sold this Moonlight, um, like little reel. It was a set with two extra little reels. For It's basically a storybook projector. You put it on your cell phone and read the story to your kids. Um, I have basically little to no investment in this. This came in one of the store things that basically if you go to Dirt Cheap and they've got buggies filled with stuff, you pay 10 bucks for the whole entire buggy. There was a lot of this stuff in it. And new. But I sold that for $10.60. Now these prices I'm giving you, this is the total sale price. I have not subtracted the shipping, the fees, and all that. Just letting you know what it sold for. At the end of the video, when I've got everything packaged up and shipped, then I'll tell you my overall profit, fees, and, you know, all that fun stuff. Anywho, that was that. Next, oh, and it was on my store for maybe a month and a half, a month. I sold my low gray. Got him back in, I believe, 1985. He's the last of my collection that I had and sold him for $26.74. I got this in that Wholesale Ninja box. If you've seen the previous video, which I'll leave a link up here if you're curious about it. But I sold this guy for $13.48. Basically on my store less than a week. Because I got that box on Tuesday. Had it all listed between Wednesday and Thursday. And then waiting for sales to come in on Friday. Let's see. And I did tell you it was $13.48 for it. Next is this Canon Pixma printer ink. I got that in one of them buggy deals from um, Dirt Cheap. And it sold for eleven thirty seven, so basically pennies invested. And got some peroxide. Oh yeah, that Canon cartridge was eleven thirty seven. I can't. My mind's going blank. I don't remember if I told you. But I sold this for $12.39. And everything I'm showing you is pretty well going to ship for probably around $4 to $5. The Pendleton Men's. It's a very nice long sleeve plaid wool shirt. Sorry, my curls are trying to get into my face. And... I sold Clark the Shark. Got $9.48 for him. I've sold two Alaska Bear stainless steel cigar cutters. And I got these in an auction deal. Um, there's a box full of them. And I got the whole entire box for $10. And it comes in a package with this nice little velvet pouch with a nice little cigar cutter on the inside. It's really, it makes a great little stocking stuffer for like your grandpa if they still smoke cigars. But yeah, I was happy and I got quite a bit of them. I think close to 30 of them. And so $10 for the box and I think, let's see, the total on this was $29.42 and I've already sold like three others. So very good profit, especially when you get your hands on a bunch of stuff. 
One listing. Keep selling. So that was $29.42, which the weight of it, not very heavy at all. Three ounces. So it'll, if I can get it, yeah, it'll go at a four ounce weight. So probably about three bucks to ship it. Maybe a dollar in fees. Nice little profit. And then next, this was a closet clean out. This thing has been in my closet for over 10 years. I finally sold it. And, well, didn't finally sell it. Just cleaning out the clutter in my closets. But made $8.91 and this will be free shipping. Let's see. What else do I have here? That was Boggle. And then this came out of an auction deal. I paid, I think, $65 for a three-tier rack buggy full of um, over-the-counter multivitamins and everything. And it, within the first week, I made almost $600 on that stuff. And it's dwindling down. I've only got a little bit left of it. This stuff, I guess, is not as popular um, this one was paid for for $12.58. The other one is sold, but waiting to be paid for. So basically, I sold two of them. And, yeah, get multivitamins. If you can get your hands on it, believe me, that sells. And sold my last two boxes of KY Jelly. Sold the other two, I believe it was Thursday or Friday. I sold two of them. Sold the last two for $9.88, which I already broke it down on the other video after taking out the shipping, the fees, and the cost of goods, which is about $1.77 for each. I basically, I profited $0.56. Cents. Hey, $0.56, cents, what's that, a candy bar? Let's see. But as long as I profit on that lot then I'm good. And I've sold the Essence Lash Princess. Sold it for $14.42. And that was from the Wholesale Ninjas. Uh, I sold Spotlight Red Makeup. I mean, that's red, red. And that was out of one of my auction lots. Um, I believe I paid, I'm wanting to say about $15 per box and they were like big boxes of a lot of makeup. I mean a lot. Let me, I've been kind of getting it all cleaned up and organized. There's a lot of that. All that lipstick is already listed. That's makeup I can't use, but yeah, it was a lot. Oh yeah, and I've got some of it sitting over here, ready to be listed. <laughs> My husband peeked in. All right, sold that for $4.50. And then the last thing that is on my list is I got this out of the Wholesale Ninja box, that eyebrow tattoo, and I sold it for $7.09. And so I am fixing to get ready to start packaging it all up. My husband said he'd come in and run the figures on the computer and do the shipping labels. He likes the easy part. But I will get all that taken care of, and I will come back and let you know what my Total, total, you know that thing where you, your total sales, your total fees, and then the total profit. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I got the totals. So, with everything that sold, it came up to $186.34. That's before shipping, before fees, and everything. And this is the sales for or Saturday and Sunday because if I get any sales on Friday and Saturday morning I usually get it shipped out 
first thing. These are all sales Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and today, Sunday. So I made a total of $186.34 in sales. There, a little bit better. And eBay fees was $18.03. PayPal fees was $10.22. And the total shipping for everything was $58.00. And 59 cents and the total profit profit was ninety nine dollars and fifty cents that is removing the dollar seventy seven from the couple of items I got from wholesale ninjas like for instance the Gillette razor that men's razor thing sold it for twelve dollars and seventy nine cents eBay was a dollar twenty three PayPal was sixty nine cents Shipping was five dollars thirty-seven cents. I minus the dollar seventy-seven, which would be, you know, cost of goods, which gave me the profit of three dollars and seventy-three cents. On um, that KY jelly, I don't know how it happened. I think I might not have subtract subtracted the PayPal fee last time, but I sold the KY jelly. It was nine twenty-seven. Minus the eBay fees of ninety cents, minus PayPal fee of sixty one cents, minus shipping of four dollars and twenty five cents, I ended up in the negative of three cents. Also subtracting that dollar seventy seven twice. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I'm showing that I had nine dollars and twenty seven cents show up. In my PayPal account, but yet I sold it for nine eighty eight. Uh, it's a it's a learning curve. I'm still figuring all that stuff out. And um, that last, let's see, that tattoo studio sold it for six dollars and fifty eight cents. eBay fee was sixty five. PayPal was fifty one. It was three dollars and three cents to ship it which gave me the $2.39 minus the one seventy seven out of that. I didn't calculate that. So if you know math in your head, just go two thirty nine minus one seventy seven. dollars 77 I don't know math in my head. I have to use my phone. And since I'm recording on my phone, you're not getting that figure. But anyway, overall, you know, for what, a day and a half, I made $99.50. So yeah, I'm real happy the the best one on my whole list here is that little Ewok I made eighteen dollars and sixty three cent profit on it um, that men's shirt I made fifteen dollars and eighty seven cents on that and there was no cost of goods with that that was part of them eighteen gigantic black trash bags of clothes a friend at work had given it to me when I worked at Shaw he was closing out his Poshmark store and giving me his death pile. I've made a lot of money off of that man. He did not want to be on consignment. I said, you know, I'll give you a percentage. And he's like, nope, you can have it. I think he likes the hunt more than he likes the list and all that because whew, he had a lot. Um, Let me see what else. Those Alaskan razor, the razors the cigar cutters you know 2583 which I list them at 1499 each you know more than likely they're gonna give me a best offer but he didn't he bought them both right out 247 eBay fee a dollar 15 PayPal fee 303 to ship it and so all in all I made nineteen dollars and eighteen cents and cost of good of that I'm thinking between the cigar cutters and the professional bottle openers, I might have maybe two or three cents invested in it because let me kind of show you. I've already sold several of them and I still have all of those. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I think, I think it was close to 30 that I got into those. And then all of these professional bar openers, the can openers, is for the professionals. Look at all those. And that was all in that box for just $10. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two of them don't have a, ra a bag. So I might keep one out in my kitchen. But um, I've got those that's wrapped listed. And that way, if you know anything happens, I've got backups. But yeah, ten dollars for all that, so you know, probably a couple pennies cost of goods each one. But still, you know, being able to be at home, be here for my grandbabies, be here for my daughter, my daughters. Um I don't know, I guess my husband just has me spoiled. I like staying at home. I don't like going out and working. And but I do like to make money. And I cannot believe I finally found something I absolutely love. But just wanted to let you know what I've sold in the last day and a half. And Sunday's not even done yet. I still get sales sometimes up until midnight. But just letting you know, if this is something you want to get into, all you got to do is check out your local auction houses. There's some that, you know, they'll auction things individually. Or they'll auction the whole entire box. And if you're the only one interested in some of that stuff, you can get it pretty darn cheap. Some stuff I have to pay up for. Some stuff I get lucky on. It just kind of varies. And I found out for who brought all of that multivitamins HBA. And he knows how to get his hands on it. So I might even be able to start buying pallets of it. He said, just come at me with about five to five to fifteen hundred dollars and I'll get you set up with a humongous pallet of multivitamins and I told him I'm not quite ready for that much at this point in my business but I'm gonna be growing he said he'll bring a little bit to the auctions every so often for me let's just hope I keep getting it a doggone deal <laughs> so I'm gonna let you go for now just wanted to throw that quick what's sold for the in the first weekend of December. But again, thank you for watching. My name is Tammy. I'm an on sign on sign huh? online entrepreneur. And if you like seeing this kind of content, please give me a like and a uh, a thumbs up, a like. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I don't, nobody's leaving me any comments. Nobody's asking me any questions. Or shoot, just tell me if I had a stain on my shirt that day. <laughs> but leave me a comment, and I'll catch you on the next round. Happy holidays.